here's as close as I get to the nightlife, guys. I don't often go out at night, maybe once every two weeks, so kind of a boring nighttime, unless I meet somebody from a dating site, you know. So here we have some live music for free. And I'm near the center of Porto now. This is like a little square here. This is pretty busy here. Check out the street, guys. It's gentrified here. This, I think this used to be a bad neighborhood here. And this is a crazy looking street. It just goes down. Down this big hill here. There's a hostel over here, and I was just walking to see what this area was like here. And it's pretty fabulous, pretty interesting looking. So you can see there's a lot of restaurants and bars around now. It is a weekend. It's like Friday night now. So I guess expected to be a little bit busy, but it is fairly busy now. And these are like, wow, cool. A lot of tourists around here. So let's go. I'm going to go back up this way because I was supposed to make a turn up here. Let's take a look at the streets here. So it just keeps going down. The city keeps going down until you get to the river, right? It's just a slope that is, uh, you know, not too steep but just keep consistently dropping her. Check out this weirdness, guys. We're just below this church here. Here's the hostel, guys. Lost in Porto Hostel. And they do have a room here uh, at Lost in uh, that is not super expensive. It's like a private room. I was take a look at that. Maybe next time I come here, I can grab that room because it is in. It's a fab neighborhood. Here. It looks kind of scary, but it's definitely kind of like almost like the neighborhoods in New York City. You know where it's like gentrified, but it looks you know a bit crazy. Check this out, guys. This is just another side story here. Let's say this. I have no idea where this pathway goes, sir. And I'm not sure of the neighborhoods that are, say, dangerous or something like this. So let's say, better just turn around and go back to the, the main part of the city here. But this is a pretty fabulous, sir. Got some art over here. Check this out. So you have to go up underneath this arch to get in this neighborhood here. It's like down up underneath the uh, rest of the city here. And then you got this some kind of dark oval here with nothing inside of it. Alright, let's get out of here. Kind of gives me the creeps here. 
And then we have a Starbucks up there straight ahead. So this area is, I must admit, it's pretty happening. Looks like we have a bunch of tourists, a good number of hostile dwellers, people like this around here. English speakers, plenty of them. So this is actually just across from where the bridge crosses over the river, right? And it connects uh, to this uh, area here. And then you got this church over here. And then uh, Starbucks, and then we start going up the hill and get to my neighborhood about a mile or two away here. I kind of regret not doing some of the nightlife activities here. And the racing, I don't usually stay out late at night because it's just a habit to wake up early, right? So if I do that, then I'll, you know, be kind of tired the next day, all day, and I need more sleep, you know. And if I'm in a hostel, that's not very uh, comfortable to sleep, you know, during the day there. So I usually just stay out during the day. Let's see what this place says here. So it just looks like a little restaurant here. So we're going to go back to the room here. And just, I didn't really plan to go out somewhere. I'm just kind of walking around looking. But nightlife here looks pretty interesting, you know. So maybe I'll plan for next time I come back to uh, Porto. And strangely, the weather tonight is very warm, right? So it, we had a, a little heat wave going on here. I'm wearing a tank top right now, shorts, you know. So probably why so many people are out, you know, in the city tonight. Whereas if it were kind of windy and cold, uh, it's probably not going to be as many people hanging around here. So let's make a plan to come back another time. Now, this is not as crazy as, say, someplace like Barcelona, you know, where you've got, like, an overload of trendy places, gentrified, very expensive and all of that. Fancy, good-looking people, you know. But this is still pretty happening. So here I am, headed back to the hostel. I want to get a good night's sleep here, so I'm just going to go home a little bit early. It's not... It's about 10.30 right now, 10.30 p.m., so it's not nowhere near, uh, you know, where some parties start. However, here in Porto, you can see people walking around the street here already uh, tanked on booze, numerous people around. So for me, not going to do that tonight. Uh, I actually have an early bus trip. Uh, not tomorrow, but the next day, right? So I, I want to rest up and make sure that I'm ready for my for my 24-hour uh, bus trip to Paris, right? So i got to rest up, do my laundry. I uh, want to go and run some errands tomorrow. Uh, purchase a few things, get some food for the bus trip. Now we're going to be on Flex Bus 